Hey, what's up, guys? IGBM here. Welcome back to another video. We have a lot of leaks regarding the Apple Watch series and Air Power, and yes, it's truly happening. And a lot of other Apple products. We have exclusive leaks on Apple Watch Series 6, and some nice features are coming to your wrist this summer. I updates and the verify reporting that several new features are coming to Apple Watch Series 6 and Watch OS 7. I updates also specify that. Apple is testing two ways to bring Touch ID back Touch ID to the Apple Watch. Number one being on, being on the digital crown and the second being an in-screen fingerprint. The verifier also says Apple is working on, t on improvements to Siri on the Apple Watch and also states that we won't be seeing any major redesign to the Apple Watch Series 6. Mac Rumors also says that it will be getting graded Wi-Fi, maybe Wi-Fi 6, improved battery life, faster performance and improved water resistance. Max Weber also specified that Apple is working on bringing underwater screen tech to the Apple Watch so you can use it while you're underwater. Other reports say Apple is working on bringing mini LED displays to the Apple Watch Series 6 or the 2021 Series 7. 95 Mark also says Watch OS 7 will support a new kids mode in the Apple Watch Series 6. So that's all for the Apple Watch. So more news on air power yes it is really happening and it is currently being tested with an apple a11 chip inside john prosser also says that employees are getting this device early at home during quarantine for testing and it's he says it has an apple a11 chip inside to properly manage it max Weinberg also speculated that this device will be getting its own software updates John Prosser says it will codename Callisto's and Air Power is to charge it just like AirPod, AirPod was to the headphone jack. He also says that the material currently being tested is leather as Apple has previously tested different materials such as glass, silicon and wood. And John Prosser says Apple is currently working on a smaller version of the air power and it may be cancelled if it doesn't work out. So more news regarding Apple's over over ear headphone. John Prosser says this will be called the AirPod Studio and it will begin mass production later this year and it will be priced at $349. 95 Mark released a report saying that this device will feature a head and neck detection, meaning that when you pull the headphones off of you. Yeah, it simply pauses the music, it doesn't turn it off just like how the AirPods does. And Mark Rumor says that AirPods that this device has begun mass production and will enter the markets later this year. So Apple Glass, the entire project has been linked by John Prosser. He says they will look like normal glasses that we won't be seeing anything crazy. He said he saw them in a white and black plastic material, but he says that it may later launch with a metallic finish. John Prosser also said that the price it will be priced at $499 and the design might change at launch. Max Weinberg follows and says that it won't, it won't have a camera but it will only feature a LiDAR sensor. John Prosser also confirms that we won't be seeing a tinted version of the Apple Glass. Twitterlika 4, 4 says that it will feature a color a proximity style of connection just like the Apple AirPods and DigiTime said that Apple will launch these glasses in 2021. So that's all for the Apple Glass Project. TNC is delaying production of 5 nanometer SOC for the Apple A14 Bionic, which is rumored to have a 3.1 gigahertz clock speed. And the Apple A14 Bionic is getting a higher density of 84% over the A13 chip and is to be dedicated toward artificial intelligence and augmented reality. Mark Rumors also confirms that Apple is working on a 10.8-inch on budget iPad refresh and a 9-inch iPad mini refresh. 95 Mark also confirms that Apple is working on that the 14.1-inch MacBook Pro is coming in trend. 2021 alongside the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Then Mac Rumors confirms that Apple is working on a trend on a 12 inch MacBook Pro mini LED display.
Max Weinberg also reports that Apple is working is working to bring mini LED to several different devices in 2021, including the iPhone, the iPad, the Apple Watch, the MacBook, and the iMac. In a separate news, Apple Insider says there will be a reference to HomePod to make it smaller and cheaper and it is to support TVOS. Alright guys, that's been it for the news. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.